Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord JS series. So in today's video, this will be the part two of the welcome system that we're working on. So um, we're gonna use a npm package because it's easier to generate um this kind of images. As you can see here, we're gonna use something like this. Um, yeah. So uh, we will just ex experiment with the um the canvas. So um, to install this. Just click on here, npm i install this thing over here, and just paste it in here. Okay, just make sure you have um, the latest version. Oh, which is not the latest version. Um. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So I already installed it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, let me just use this, and then uh, we're gonna require canvas equals require Discord canvas. Okay. And then uh, we can actually copy the same example. So the name is going to be canvas. So we're just going to test out the images so it will look the, the way that we want to. So yeah. Um, and then we're going to use the same stuff in here. So we can just actually just copy and paste this whole thing. Okay. Um, we need to change the avatar. Now mind, we can just leave it there and then we're going to change. I'm just going to change the background picture. Um, I can okay. I'll just make it my avatar. Okay. So uh, for this, let me just. I like it this way better. Wait. Oh wait. Okay. This is better. Too. Um. And then we're gonna remove the Discord in here, and then I'm gonna add the message attachment in here. Okay. So in here, in the set avatar. So we're just gonna test this out. So I'm just gonna do message to alter the display avatar URL and then dynamic false. Okay, and then background, I'm gonna select a random background. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here and then I'm gonna go in the red render backgrounds over here and I'm just gonna copy this image over here. Um copy image address and then just paste paste this in. Okay, perfect. And then uh, we can try this out. So this is currently purple, I think. So we can actually use the HTML color codes. This would come in handy. Okay. Um, is there a place for me to... Okay. So if I copy this... Okay, and I paste it in here. You can tell me it's purple. So we can actually change it to like red if you want like a leaf so we can use this color so uh, we can just search for this color and then we're gonna replace it with this okay and then it's gonna change everything to red let me just save that and just do cls dot okay let's just start this one up um i've been testing so let me just okay and then uh, we can try it out by doing oh we didn't even require it um, it's canvas. Okay, so let's just restart it. Okay, and then we can do white canvas. So we're gonna test out the canvas first. Or not. I'm sort unsupported image type. Which is. Um. Then uh, we can do Y canvas. Okay, so it, as you can see, it displays the canvas. So let me just try with my animated profile picture. It should change it to PNG. Yeah, it changes it to PNG. So as you can see here, uh, you can change the colors however you want. So I'm just gonna explain a little bit about this. So the border. The border is gonna be the border over here. Then the color, 
for the username box username box discriminator box is this number box over here uh, message box um, is the um, this I, th I think it's this and then the title is gonna be this and then the avatar um, I'm not pretty sure where the avatar is but uh, we're gonna configure this later on so yeah uh, we can create a new event to handle all of these um, remember so yeah um, let me just close all of these files let me just go to events so if you don't have an event handler don't worry just do it in index.js okay and then i'm just gonna create a welcomer.js okay so we're gonna use the welcome you're not gonna use the goodbye because you're already gonna welcome right okay so uh we're gonna require from index.js so require dollar sign dollar slash index dot slash index dot js and then we're gonna require the uh, model so we're gonna check if the data is there first so con schema because require we're gonna require it from the mongo schema dollar set dollar slash uh dollar slash models slash welcome channel okay let me just pull this at a side so we can use it later on and then I think we need the last one, which is the canvas. So const canvas equals require dollar slash. I mean, uh, Discord canvas. Perfect. Okay. So you can just do a client dot on guild member add, and then uh, async member. Okay. Um. Okay. And here, I'h uh, make sure. Go to discord.com slash developer discord.com slash developers and then you go to your application make sure your bot has the intent so make sure it has the server member intent make sure it has this okay or else you won't trigger the good member add event okay so uh we're gonna first you're gonna search data so schema dot find one okay and then a guild will be member guild the id if i can type net async or uh let's do async error data error data if there is no data we're just gonna ignore it if there's no data return if there is data we're gonna create a canvas okay so we can copy in the previous uh where is it the previous code over here um, we're gonna copy the okay you can change anything you want so we're gonna change the username to um, me member let me just change do something like this so const user equals to member dot user okay we can just do this and then we can just do user dot username um, in here will be uh, in here will be user dot this Discriminator. Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. Okay, for member count, we're just gonna do member dot guild dot member count, which is a property, and then the guild name. We're gonna change it to member dot guild dot name. Uh, set avatar will be user dot display avatar URL. Uh, format will be equals to PNG border uh you can change anything you want in here background i'm just gonna leave the same background so i'm just gonna change all these red colors to actually i'm just gonna change it to green so it looks a little bit more nice so let me just change all of this um let me just copy this paste this in here and i'm gonna paste the green color in here so paste switch oh i need to add a hashtag behind of it let me switch again okay so all of this now has green color you can change individually uh color and you can make it like a rainbow or something whatever you want okay and then uh, we're gonna copy this again okay what's attachment okay so now we're gonna require the channel const channel equals um member dot guild dot channels dot get 
and then uh, it's going to be data dot uh, why did I pull up blacklist it is this okay data dot channel with capitals because uh, we're going to refer reference that data channel and then we're just going to do channel dot send uh, new we need to require the attachment thing also wait let me check okay wait actually we don't need attachment attachment okay we're gonna require the require discord or js we're gonna require the message attachment okay message attachment okay we just used over in here okay so yeah that should be it um yeah let's just test this out let me just restart the bot let me just dm my um my invite link to the um bot i mean my account okay and then if i click my uh my oh my god it's so confusing because there's so much tabs okay let me just close all these pull this at the side so if i leave the guild Okay, it wouldn't do anything because it's a leave event. So I join. Okay, it doesn't send. Okay, it sends. As you can see here, if I do um, if I use my main account, and I do um, why check? What is what was the command again? Let me check. Uh, I forgot the command name. Give me a sec. Check channel will be check channel. Okay, so why check channel? Okay, the welcome channel 2, as you can see here, if I go to welcome channel 2, I can, oh shoot, I forgot to change goodbye to welcome, so, um, okay, let me just minimize this, because it looks really messy, um, change, just change goodbye to welcome, okay, and then you can just save this, and there's a weird thing about this, um, I'll tell you guys later when, when it rejoins, let me just, let me just make my account leave again and then I'll rejoin okay it's sent in here okay um yeah I forgot to save it what's happening I think I don't think I restarted wait that's weird. Oh, I changed the wrong side. Wait, wait, wait. It's in, it's in the event, not in the command. Silly me. Okay, so just change this to welcome. I was like, what? Okay. I was in the wrong file. Okay, so just change it in your event, the client on event. And then, um, we can just test it out again. So I'm just gonna leave the server. And then I'm just gonna go to join again and then it should uh, send the welcome okay as you can see here it actually says welcome in you tutorial so I was like what and then I was uh, I went and I went to your github and then I checked so basically um, if you go to your node modules and if you find for wait where is my name? okay if you find for discord canvas so let me just find for that Okay, if I go to source and I go to greetings and go to uh, welcome, it actually says welcome in server. I was like, what? So I went to the GitHub. I wanted to make a pull request for proper grammar. And then I just went to the same path again. Greetings, uh, welcome. Okay, it actually changed in the GitHub, but it didn't change in the NPM. So I don't know what's going on here. It should change. Uh, maybe after a few days but this is on january 17 i'm not really sure what's going on but um if you want to um uh, you can just change the in in here just change it to two okay and then you just restart the bot okay because it's a little bit weird because welcome in youtube tutorials doesn't really make sense so you can leave it I'll leave again and if i rejoin it should say welcome to the server name Okay, so let's just try that out. Welcome channel, and then if I go here, as you can see here, welcome to, and then YouTube's horrors. So that should makes more uh, makes more sense to me because 
Um, and then uh, at the bottom, you can see uh, how many members are in here. So I can see here there's five members, so fifth member. Okay, etc. So yeah. Um, so I'll show you guys how to make it with embeds right now. Okay. Uh, if I so this is the code for it with images. Now I'm gonna try it with with embeds. So I'm just gonna design the embed myself. Uh, we can relieve the channels. So let's yeah, just remove all these. We can remove this if we don't need this. We can um we don't need the attachment as well. We don't need this as well. Okay. So all you need to do is just channel dot send, and then we can send a um embed require discord.js discord.js we can require the embed message embed okay and we can just do new message embed okay and then we're gonna set title new member and we can just set description um you can say um member the user dot tag has joined and then we can do the member dot guild dot name i'm trying to use as much properties as i can and then uh we can do um we can set footer to the member dot guild dot member count so you can show display the amount of members so let me just copy this I just place it in the template literal and then our members and then we can do set color set color will be random okay so you set a random color so if you restart the bot you you'll stop sending the image and you'll start sending the embed okay so this is a very simple embed um you can customize it however you want with the guild member object in this JS documentation okay so let's just leave the server again wrong account leave the server and if I join again with my account um yeah if I go here it will say that this okay you can set the avatar URL etc like how I did in here so yeah um that should conclude um the welcome system in Discord JS if you like this video make sure to leave a like I really worked hard on my videos um make sure to subscribe you really help the channel out if you face any errors or you just want to you know chill with us okay feel free to join the support the links will be in the description other than that have a nice day see you in the next video bye